Twin Cities Metro is in a peacetime emergency tonight. Governor Jim Walz is asking other states to help protect the Twin Cities from potential unrest, but says increased law enforcement won't fix the most serious issues in Minnesota. This is not the way to live. We need to fix those other things so we don't have to end up with National Guard on our streets. But I cannot allow those businesses to burn. Today, the Minnesota Senate approved $9 million to bring in state troopers from Ohio and Nebraska to help the Minnesota State Patrol. Governor Walz criticized lawmakers for not taking swift action on police reform or other measures to help fix disparities impacting the black community. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry says he and the police chief are instructing law enforcement to prioritize de-escalation over the next few days. Meanwhile, Brooklyn Center is the only city under a curfew tonight. A crowd marched in Minneapolis today calling for the jury to convict Derek Chauvin. Others headed to George Floyd Square to reflect. David Schumann joins us right now. And David, I know that some people talked about the fraught emotions that come with waiting for such an anticipated verdict. Yeah, Amelia, it's an uneasy feeling for the people I spoke to today who are confident in the prosecutor's case, but at the same time, they're not taking anything for granted and almost bracing for a result they won't be satisfied with. It made sense for Tian Britton to come here to 38th in Chicago as the jury in the Derek Chauvin trial began deliberations. I always feel empowered, always emotional, already feeling it right now. Um, just the pain, the happiness, all these feelings. Tian's visited George Floyd Square many times. It was Bishop Thomas Masters' first time. I wanted to be a witness. I wanted to feel uh, what, it, what it's like to be in the neighborhood, to talk to the locals. Masters arrived Monday from Florida, expecting or at least hoping to see a verdict come this week. I'm hoping that we don't have a hung jury because all it takes is one person to hang this up and then we go back again. The bishop says he doesn't see how anyone could watch the video and come back with a not guilty. But he, along with hundreds of protesters downtown Monday, aren't assuming anything. Reverend Jesse Jackson was there to share his thoughts on a verdict. Even if we win, Even if we win. it's relief. Jackson also urged for peace. We're non -violent. We're non -violent. Not because we're scared. Not because we're scared. Because we're wise. Because we're wise. Tian understands businesses being concerned about an acquittal, but he also believes Chauvin deserves to be guilty. I just know people are already burning up doing this and that. When they shouldn't be like any cause to like feel anxious about the looting and stuff. General impressions among people I talked to were that the defense's closing arguments weren't as strong as the prosecution's. All right. Thank you, David.